Hey folks, I'm Colin Gray from thepodcasthost.com and on this video I want to show you how to use the limiter tool in Audacity to make sure you're getting much more regular, consistent volume levels in your recordings. So how does this work? This is a tool inside Audacity that helps you just level things out, make things much more consistent. And you can see the common problem here. So this recording, we have a pretty quiet bit at the start, and then we have a louder part. That often happens, you know, when you're introducing something and then you're speaking to someone and you get a bit more excited, the conversation gets more dynamic, it gets louder. There's laughs, there's shouts, and therefore the volumes go up and down. Now, obviously you're trying to monitor a bit of that during recording so that it's not going too far up and down because it's quite hard to work with it. It's quite hard to fix it in a perfect way if the volumes are way too varied um, during recording, but we can still do a lot with it. So let's have a look at this. Let's zoom in just a touch so that I've got just a good chunk of the loud and a good chunk of the quiet. The trouble you have here is you want to to level all of this. So say this was my clip and I want to level this so that it is a good volume. Now, what we would normally do is go to amplify and level it maybe to zero uh, or minus one. Minus one's a decent level. So that levels it up to minus one as a peak, but the peak amplification really only amplifies it to where the loudest point is. So here is the loudest point here. And that has been taken up to minus one. The rest of it is all way too quiet still. So what we need to do is give this a bit of a haircut. <laughs> so that's what a limiter does. A limiter limits the loudest parts of a recording and you can set how loud you want that limit to apply. So if I select this part, so we've got the quiet on the left, we've got the loud on the right, uh, and I'll do the limit on this. Now you would do your limit on the entire recording, of course. Uh, you want it to work on the whole thing, in which case you would double click and that selects the entire thing. But just for speed, I'm just gonna do this little section here for now. Now I'm going to into the effect menu. Now down at the bottom here, actually it's off the bottom of the screen for you, is the limiter. But trust me, just below here is the limiter. And it brings up this. We're gonna go for a hard limit. And here, limit to dB is what we're going to use to set the level we're limiting to. Now, Audacity makes things a little bit difficult for us in that it doesn't give us a decent measure on the left here. These numbers, the 0 to 1, do not correspond to this minus 8, which is no good. Um, so what we're going to do is just do a bit of experimenting. Okay, so again, back into the limiter. And we're going to start small-ish. Okay, so I... The limit, well, I'll give you an idea. So let's say I put in minus 10. What is that gonna do? Have a look at the loudest parts here. So when I click okay here, watch what happens to the loudest parts right in this big chunk in the center. So I'll click okay. You can see that that has been totally cut off. So those loud chunks have been entirely cut off. All right, I would argue that might be a little bit too much limiting because it's cutting a whole lot off this loud chunk here. It's not touching the main bit of the speech, which is a good sign. So that's kind of what you're looking for. You're looking to cut off just the very loud parts and not touch the main parts of the speech. But I'm gonna say that was probably just a chunk too much. Like if I press undo, so there it is back. If I press redo again, you can see it cutting it off again. I think that's too much. What I want to do is try and limit it to about the top of this section here. So we're cutting off just a touch of these bits here. Okay, so I'm going to try that again. I'm going to select this effect limiter. Um, and instead of minus 10, I'm going to go for a minus 8. Let's see where that goes to. So click OK. Oh, no, that was good. So I like that. So that didn't touch these little bits, for example, these little spikes, but it did just trim these ones. So it's cut off those spikes at the top without touching the kind of the bulk of the audio. That's a level that I like. So I think this is a pretty good level. And it takes this to a similar level to this. 
So it's still louder. We're still getting a bit of dynamic range. We're still getting quieter parts and loud parts, but not with such a range that we'd have to change the volume when we're recording. That's what we're looking for. We're not looking to take out all of the dynamic range because that just makes it sound way too compressed. It's, it just sounds really strange when you take out all of the variation in the volume. You want to take out enough though that you're not having to change the volume as you're listening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that. I'm going to zoom out. Now that I've figured out what my limit is, I'm going to select the whole clip, double click the whole clip effect. Uh, now I'm just going to show you just as a demo here. Let's zoom in. If I click the whole thing and just do an amplify here to minus one, watch what happens to the bulk of the audio. Let's see if it changes barely anything at all. So barely changed because of this really loud bit. It's not able to amplify because there's no room for it to amplify. So instead we'll double we'll double click the clip so that we can go in. We'll do the limiter. We'll do that minus eight that we found before. Now watch over on the left here. You'll see this spike disappear. Okay, applying the limiter to the whole thing. Okay, that spike has disappeared. There's still a little bit of a spike there. But what happens when we amplify now to minus one, the whole thing comes up. So we still have this loud bit at the start, louder than the rest, but again, that's okay. Now, what I would say, looking at this now, judging it, it's all judgment here. Maybe there is still a bit too much headroom in the bulk of the audio here. Okay, so there's still a wee bit too much space at the top. So actually what I'm going to do is I am going to limit it just a touch more. So what I would do is do a second limit, double click the whole thing, effect limiter and I'm going to limit a lot less this time. I'm just going to try and cut off these little spiky bits here, maybe just above that. See that 0 0.5 mark, a little bit above that so that it's not quite cutting into the main audio. And that's going to be somewhere around minus three, minus four, minus five. So let's see how it looks at minus three. Okay, over here. Oh, that was okay. So that looks good. So that's bringing the top of this spike to about the same as the loudest parts of the rest of the audio. So that looks good to me. So if I do my amplify again, minus one, then we're getting still two dB of amplification and that brings everything up. So I think that looks much better. We still, again, we have the loudest part here on its own, but the rest of it is all still very even. So this is going to be a decent volume level. To me, that looks quite good. So that's how you use the hard limiter along with the amplify to level out the volumes of your recording. I hope that helps you make sure your recordings are really consistent in future. If you want more on this, if you want to know more about Audacity, we have a full course on Audacity inside our Podcast Host Academy. So it'd be cool if you checked it out. We've got everything in there going from complete basics. So even if you're a complete beginner to Audacity, we've got lessons that take you from that basic steps right up to really advanced stuff. So you'll be an audio editing pro within a few hours going through that course. You can find that over at the podcast host academy. No, sorry, the podcast host.com forward slash academy. And obviously you get the live coaching that we run on a regular basis as well. So you can ask me and the rest of the team any questions you have as you go along. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.